So today we have a model review of the Grove GMK3055 made by TWH. And um, But before we get to the review, I have some news. I have created a Facebook page for the for the for this YouTube channel, KCX700. There's going to be a link directly below in the uh, information box. So go ahead and check that out, like that page. Going to have all sorts of news as far as upcoming videos, new models, dioramas, um, all sorts of good stuff in any industry news. So new machines that are coming out, all that fun stuff. So go ahead and like that page and uh, that would be greatly appreciated. So now let's start with the actual review of this model. Um, let's start with the box. This box is pretty nice. Um, shows a picture of the actual crane. Grove logo and then uh, underneath you just have like a uh, all that stuff made by TWH and it comes in a uh, two part styrofoam box but uh, let's get to the actual uh, review of the crane now we'll start with the cab the cab is fairly well detailed you can see the steering wheel and seats in there along with the three windshield wipers and that would be like your uh, grill for your radiator then this little loop right here is for your hook block to uh, secure it there while it's being transported um, cab has a little light on it and then you have your exhaust and what would be your air intake. Now these little holes right here and right here are for your mirrors. I've never put them on um, but that's what they're for. And something pretty cool about this model let me set this down here for a minute is that the cab actually tilts forward to show the Mercedes-Benz engine underneath which is pretty cool some decent detail on that and then it just uh, snaps back down that's uh, relatively stiff which is a good thing and that's uh, pretty much the entire cab of the mo model coming back around you have the cab where the operator would sit. Some pretty nice detail done on this. You have your warning labels, handles, lights out front, um, wiper blades, additional what would be a light or a mirror, another wiper on the top of the cab, and then some pretty good detail on the inside of the cab. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but uh, and then this cab also tilts up just a little bit, which gives the model a pretty cool look. And then it does have a little cylinder, which you can see right there. Nice etching as well. Back here you have some uh, plastic molded hydraulic detail and your logo. Coming around to the back of the crane you have the grove which is casted into the die cast on these different counterweights and it looks really nice. For it not being such a big crane, I don't believe these are removable, and if they are, I haven't figured out how to do it. So, uh, yeah, and it is a, this is pretty cool because it does have a, uh, does have two uh, reels of a line on it, which is pretty cool. The first one is strung to a uh, two-part line. And then this one I am saving for a 
single part line to go on the end of the jib. I just don't have the hook block yet. It, the crane only comes with the one. So if you want to use the jib without having to purchase anything else, you have to undo that one. Which isn't hard, it just involves untying that right there. Which I prefer just to leave it on and I'll order another hook block when I order something from DHS, but it's not, the, the shipping will cost more than the actual hook block, so I'm going to hold off till I'm ordering something else. Continuing on, we have the spare tire in the back. And on this side, this side is what I'm calling like the one downside to this model. This side looks very plain. There's really nothing going on on this side of the model. It just looks boring on this side. But that's really the only downside to it, I guess you would say. You got like a step there and stuff. And then right here you can see better than on the other side. On your hydraulic you have two different uh, boom lock positions where you could take one of these pins in here, probably that smaller one, and stick in there to keep your, uh, basically to keep that from closing if you had something hanging from a, like a load or something out here, it would keep it from uh, just pulling itself down. But that's really not too big of a problem because this is a, a pretty good cylinder right here. It's very stiff. It works out really well assuming you don't have anything, you know, coming way out. All right, now let me show you the outrigger configuration on this model. It doesn't come out extremely far, but uh, that's the max extension, and then it has another click, I guess you could call it, at the half extension, which is shown here. Um, the out actual outriggers themselves are uh, their screw down ones, which uh, is kind of annoying, but they work really well. It uh, makes it very hard to do, though, in dioramas. But uh, they work well. You can get the model off the ground with it, unlike I have here. But uh, something else really cool about this model is that all three axles you can steer. And then they all... They all turn like so, which is pretty cool. Alright, something else I want to mention during the review is that with the amount of line that is given to you on one, on one uh, drum, which, granted, you have a little bit left in there, you can only, with the two-part line, like I have set up here, you can only raise the crane up to the third um, boom part. And boom parts are pretty nice. Um, as you can see, there's really not a whole lot of detail on the extensions. And something I forgot to mention on the other part of rev the review is that you do have some uh, detail on the main part of the boom. And uh, this right here and right here would be used to stow the jib, which I will get to shortly. But it would uh, swing back on that and rest on those. So uh, that's what the crane looks like. Extended like that. Looks pretty cool. I've used this in a couple stop motions. Alright, continuing on with the review, I thought I would show you the uh, full extension of the crane. Um, it's actually, when I originally bought it, I didn't think it would be this uh, tall, but the crane itself has five sections of boom, which give it nice height by itself, but when you add the uh, jib, it really gives the crane some height. I uh, brought up my tape measure here. And, uh can't remember off the top of my head, but like this, it gives you 43 inches to the top of the jib, which is a uh, great height for a model of this size. Um, it's only a $150 model, so uh, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, where the hook block is right now, only about halfway down, is as low as that will go 
with the crane being fully extended, unfortunately, because of the limited amount of line on the drum. And let me get my camera off my tripod and show you how the jib connects. You have these pins right here, which slide through connectors on the crane and then on the jib. And that's what holds it on. And you have this hydraulic here, which can control the pitch of your jib. So if you wanted to uh, angle it down some, you'd be able to do that. And then it is, it's a uh, two-part jib. So you have a small uh, pulley right there. So you could essentially just have this portion of the jib and it come down up there and then the second part you'd be able to bring it all the way up and over. And there should be enough line in it if you uh, you could do something with it fully extended up there which would look pretty cool. I don't know what if you were doing like a diorama what you would use it on but it looks pretty cool and then Here's another shot of that. The jib itself is really nice. Um, the detail and the casting on it is very nice. It looks great in my uh, personal opinion. And uh, if I forgot to mention before, you do get a few extra pins in there. And your mares, which I may have forgot to mention up there earlier. And something else I thought was pretty cool is this right here, this comes in the box when you get the model. This is the actual product guide and it gives you all sorts of specs on the engine and counterweight configurations, boom configurations, all sorts of dimensions for it, and then like load charts. All pretty cool stuff neat to look over let me know if you want to see more of this and maybe I can post pictures of it on my Facebook page and I will eventually be getting around to posting pictures of all my models on my Facebook page but uh, give me some time on that and if you have liked my page already bear with me because the next couple of days there's going to be a lot of stuff getting uploaded to that so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this review um, go ahead and comment below if there are any questions you have, anything I may have forgot to mention, or anything you want to know. And um, like I said earlier, please go ahead and like that my Facebook page. There's going to be a link in the description box below. And uh, go ahead and have a good day.